Hello again, and um, welcome to um, Play at Home. We're um, today we're going to make um, a zine. So um, a zine is just like a little uh, booklet, um, and it's just got a few pages and a front and back cover. Um, the great thing about a zine is that they're really, really quick and easy to make. Um, so let me just show you how one is made. Um, what you need is one sheet of paper and a pair of scissors, and then. Then when you get to making the zine, it's like anything, anything goes really, but the simplest thing is just to have a pen. Um, but let me just show you how you make the zine first, what the, the format is. So you take that one sheet of paper and you fold it once along the short edge. And you open it back up and you fold it once along the long edge. There we go, open that back out and then we fold once into the centre. And then we do the same from the other side, back into the centre. Then we open that back out. And what we want to do is we want to cut along this line right here. Um, and the easiest way to do that with scissors is just to fold it back in in half again. And then you can just see that, that fold line. We're gonna follow that with the scissors. There we go. And open that back up. And this is the magic bit. So we fold it over and then we push. And this opens out. You push those together and then you suddenly got pages and a little booklet. I'll just put down a little bit. There you are, you've got a front cover, you've got a back cover, and you've got one, two, three spreads inside. Um, and as soon as you have that, and as soon as you've made that, you then become your own publisher. And the wonderful thing about being your own publisher is that you can then choose well, uh, exactly what kind of thing you want to be publishing. So you might want to make a story, because it's very naturally a format for a story, but also you might just want to make a collection of things, or you, want to, you might want to just keep it completely abstract. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of exa examples of things I've made in the last couple of weeks. Um, so this is a zine um, recording a walk um, but that we made um, just around the corner at the wetlands in, in Walthamstow. And so I made this from making rubbings along the way. Um, and the lovely thing about having that zine format is you can open it back out to being flat and then you can put it on top of stuff. And, and what I did here was I had a nice big chunky pencil and just made uh, rubbings of different textures along the way that I met along in, in that route. And then once you've got all the things you want, you can then, again, just fold it up and it goes right back into being a little booklet. So then we've got a front cover and then a couple of spreads. And the back cover. Um, and then another thing I tried the other day was just looking at what you could do with, with cutting holes in these zines. And this is taking advantage of um, the structure it, for each of these spreads in the zine is effectively a pocket. So then the, the lovely thing about that is that you can then put things inside of the pocket. So here I've put in some transparency on this one, so you can see a little bit through it. Um, on this one I put in a post-it note, which gives you that lovely pink. Here is a scrap of rubbish with some Japanese on it, and it just forms a lovely texture. Um, and then you've got cardboard on the back, and then a different textured cardboard in here. And then a little signature on the back to make it look all official. Um, and yes, so there's lots of possibilities. Another one is to use scraps. So this was um, just things that were lying around. So this particular scrap looked a little bit like a, like a head. So I added some lines and turned it into a fella um, who went sailing around an island. I met a guy on the harbour, and there's a close-up of that fella. Um, yeah, so hopefully from those, those three examples, um, 
that's by no means the limit of this. I think the possibilities of zines are absolutely endless. Um, what I'd love to see is, is what you guys do with it. Um, so, so let me know, send me some photos. Um, also, um, when you finish watching this video, if you want to let me know in the comments what you think of it and whether it was clear and easy to follow, that would be really helpful. And also um, subscribe and then, uh, then you'll know when the next uh, video is, is coming out. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.